Hi everybody, it's Adam with HeartValveSurgery.com and we're in San Antonio, Texas at the annual meeting of the Society of Thoracic Surgeons. I am thrilled to be joined by Dr. Chris Malazery, who's a leading aortic valve and aneurysm specialist at Northwestern Medicine in Chicago, Illinois. Dr. Malazery, it is great to see you again. Thanks for being with me. Thank you very much, Adam. Yeah, so we're here at this meeting, we're learning a lot, and we got some patient questions coming in for you. The first one comes in from DB. And DB asks, are there any studies regarding statistical values of growth per year for aortic root? We do, we do have those numbers. And we follow a lot of aneurysms that are small, that don't need surgery. We follow them very, very closely. So yearly scan, sometimes six month scan. And we notice that average yearly growth for aneurysms is somewhere between 0.5 millimeters to one and a half millimeters. So take home numbers about a millimeter per year. It also depends on how big the aneurysm is. The bigger the aneurysm, the faster they grow. And Dr. Malazery, a quick follow-up is at that point where you're going to intervene on an aneurysm. What are the current guidelines for a patient who's monitoring their aortic aneurysm progression? The yeah, aneurysms, the bigger they get, the higher the risk of aortic dissection or rupture, so aortic catastrophes. Right now, the top number we don't like aneurysms to get over this number is 5.5 centimeters. We slowly revise that number down to five centimeters, sometimes four and a half centimeters, depending on patient's comorbidities, specific imaging characteristics, and factors that are associated with that particular patient. So it's important to talk to your doctor about when you need aortic surgery for an aortic aneurysm. Well, DB, I hope that helped you. I know it helped me. And Dr. Malazer, on behalf of all the patients in our community, thanks so much for everything you're doing at Northwestern Medicine. Thank you very much. Hi everybody, it's Adam. I hope you enjoyed that video. And don't forget, you can always subscribe to our YouTube channel. Watch the next two educational videos coming up on your screen or click the blue button to visit heartvalvesurgery.com.